Hello everyone, Air Max here. In this video, we're gonna talk about Counter-Strike 2 performance in Windows and Linux. And guess what? A lot of things have changed since my latest video. And uh, yeah, watch what I'm gonna say because it's, it's actually pretty interesting. You're gonna be surprised. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. One of the main issues I had while trying to record a benchmark in Linux was the fact that the demo function was not working very well uh, on Linux. And uh, I, I found a solution. Actually, I did not find a solution. Someone came to my Discord and shared with me uh, this uh, specific FPS benchmark for Counter-Strike 2. And this benchmark is actually awesome. And this is the benchmark we're going to be using uh, in this video to test our FPS. And this thing is, is actually pretty neat. It, it took me like one week to really like push it to the limit and see if it was actually reliable. And it's not reliable at 100% in the sense that I don't have the exact, exact uh, same FPS after every run. It will change a little bit, and I do believe it's related to the fact that it put a lot, lot, lot of stress on both the CPU and the GPU. However, within the margin of error, I, I would say it's like at 99.9% .9 relevant. So what is it exactly? Uh, you're you're going to see it. I'm, I'm going to put a video after that, but uh, it, it's a benchmark on Dust 2. You play it, and it unlocks the FPS, and you go through the, the map with a lot of like action going on and you really push uh, your GPU in his last 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 position. So what I've done, I run this test on both Windows and Linux. So on Windows, it was Windows 10, uh, latest driver and base setting for everything. So no extra overclock of the graphic card, like nothing. Okay. And then I rerun this bench on Linux. So I don't know if you remember, but I already made two videos. I made the first video when Counter-Strike 2 launched. It was six months ago. And then I made a second one uh, three months ago. So it's funny because now we are at the three month mark. So you're going to see the evolution there. And if you didn't watch the previous video, my feedback was that the game was not really ready for competitive game on Linux. And the input lag and performance were actually way lower than what they were on Windows, at least on my hardware. And when I say way lower, it was sometimes like as low as one third of the performance, which could be a problem. Like it's like 33%, 40% under, it's, it's not good. However, since then, a lot, lot of things change on the Linux side. And also on the game side, and we're going to talk about this, but first on the Linux side. Linux side... Two weeks ago, we had the release of the NVIDIA driver compatible with Wayland. We also had the release of uh, KDE 6, which support explicit sync. So it's still in beta, it's not official, but you can actually apply the patches. I made a video about that if you want to watch the video. When everything gets official, it's going to be for the release of KDE 6.1, where all the patches related to explicit sync are going to be put into uh, the, the, the desktop environment. So you're going to have like a really like a smooth experience. But at this point, I can still bench them. So that's what I've done. The other point is related to the fact that now NVIDIA Reflex has been put within the game in Linux. So you can activate NVIDIA Reflex. And I know a lot of you guys love this option because it really highly reduces the input lag. And you can feel it there. So this is pretty neat. I want to get straight to the point with you guys. We are in a position right now with NVIDIA and even AMG because Explicit Sync is going to get pushed to AMG too and it's going to improve the overall like uh, pace of the frame while playing video game. I'm, I'm sure for, for them too. It's, it's, it's just a really, really good position to be in when it comes to like gaming on Linux. And as a friendly reminder, I need to tell you that Windows still run under uh, DirectX 11, if I remember correctly. And on Linux, it's running on Vulkan. 
if you are discovering the channel, my PC starts to get a little bit old, especially on the CPU side, but it's really well optimized. And I'm running a 5950X with optimized RAM and optimized PBO settings plus a 4090 RTX. All my tests are being run from both operating system at 1414p with the configuration settings in Counter-Strike 2 set to low and Nvidia Reflex set to enable. Not enable plus boost, not disable, enable. Now I'm going to let you watch the runs themselves and you will see it kind of like appear a little bit laggy on screen and it is actually laggy because it really pushed the GPU to its last, last, last limit. So don't be shocked if you start to see the video lagging. This is exactly what it is on my screen, but it's part of the test. And you will see that the actual gameplay, because I'm pretty sure you have seen a lot of gameplay, because this is what I'm going to put as a B-roll there. Uh, the gameplay is actually pretty smooth and the experience is, is actually awesome. In terms of methodology, what I've done, I ran three benchmark on each operating system and I took the one which was the highest one. And as I mentioned earlier, they are pretty accurate and, and, and pretty stable. Like I didn't see a big, big discrepancy, but there is still some. That's why I decided to take the highest one. On one hand, you have Windows with 579.9 FPS average and a minimum 1% of 219.2, which is pretty decent relative to my configuration and the resolution. On the other hand, you have Linux running at 506 FPS average and a 1% lows at 213. 0.9 FPS. So what you see right now is just crazy because compared to what it was six months or even three months ago, we arrive at a level where the performance on Linux Wayland, so this is, this is uh, Cache OS, by the way, I didn't mention it earlier, but this is an optimized gaming version of Linux. But still, the performance is not, not that far compared to Windows. When you come to pure number, the difference between the average FPS is 11% faster on Windows than on Linux, which is crazy. Like 10%, 11% is not that big. And the other part related to the 1% low, Windows is only faster by 7%. So you get it, guys. We are at a level right now with the latest NVIDIA driver, the evolution of Wayland and the evolution of the game itself that put the Linux user in a position where they have nothing to envy, envy or envy to the Windows user. And I know it, it kind of like sound of crazy as I'm saying those words, but like six months ago, I would not be able to recommend playing competitively this game on a Linux operating system. Like it, it will just be like not possible because you will let like too much performance on the side, like 30%, 33%, even 40% in certain case scenario is just crazy in my opinion. Now, with all the evolution that Linux is going through for the last six months, we are at a level where you're going to lose 7% on the 1% low on a competitive game like Counter-Strike 2. It's, it's just mind blowing and 10% on the average for the average. Uh, it's not really a problem. Those 11% for a simple reason. Uh, even if you have a 450 Hertz screen, well, you will still be in a good position to play this game. Yes. You're going to have low at 200. Okay. I get it. It's, it's annoying. I get it, but it's not game breaking. Like we are not at a point where you can't enjoy the refresh rate of your PC. And I'm playing in a native resolution. So if you want to get crazy and do a stretch, for example, 
and play like in a, I don't know, 1414 by 1080p stretch on your uh, 1414p screen or even on your 4K screen and still have your 450 hertz or 500 hertz uh, push to your screen, I'm pretty sure you're going to get be able to get those frames on Linux. So to me, like this is the day where you can actually say Linux is ready for competitive gaming. And knowing what is actually going on on the other side with Microsoft, you know, with all the spyware or like blah, 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 adware, like everything related to Microsoft those days, well, uh, you know, it, it's a really good, good alternative. So guys, let me know in the comment below what you think in this evolution. Uh, if you want, share maybe your result of uh, this benchmark with my settings with your machine. I think it's, it's going to be like pretty interesting to see if we have like different disparity on different machines and different configuration. But I do believe like this is uh, this is a key moment for the evolution of gaming right now. Yes, th this is it, guys. We are getting there. This is just crazy. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Uh, if you like the channel, don't forget also to uh, subscribe, uh, support me uh, via a membership or via my Patreon. I will be really thankful. Uh, I wish you to have a great rest of your day and see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.